we obviously do a lot of writing courses here and we have a lot of budding writers ourselves. Um, you spoke very politically about the roots of language and research. What advice would you give to our students who are currently doing writing courses and how important research is? Are there any tips you can give them? Um, I would say that the most important tip uh, is if you are going to embark upon any field of endeavour, particularly artistic endeavour, particularly writing, um, treat writing as if it was a god. Treat writing as if it were some immensely powerful deity that you had to appease, that you had to do your very best work for, that nothing other than your best would be good enough. Treat it like that. Treat it that seriously. This is not just a career. Um, yes, it doesn't hurt to be making money out of your writings or your endeavours. In fact, yes, it's probably necessary that uh, you're making something to enable you to carry on writing. But the most important thing is the writing itself. We have plenty of career writers. I remember when, um, uh, when William Burroughs died. I remember J.G. Ballard saying, well, he is the last real writer. Um, and he leaves us with only the career novelists, which I think is probably pretty true and quite a damning indictment. I'm not saying I've got anything against career novelists, people who are just doing it for the money. I'm just not interested in them. Um, I don't like those people who have found one thing that they're good at and have decided, all oh, right, people like this, this is making me money, I think I'll do this, or variations on it, for the rest of my life. There's an awful lot of writers who are like that. They've found their golden root, and they will continue to till it from here to eternity. To me, the real writer is somebody who, as soon as he or she has identified a technique that they're using, they abandon it. They move on to something else. As soon as they've had a success, they do something completely different. That is the only way to keep yourself alive as a writer, is to keep moving, to keep progressing. To stop, at least in my probably somewhat extreme opinion, to stop is death, is the death of creativity. To decide that you're satisfied with what you are doing, that is when you are probably finished as a writer, the, to keep that hungry urge, to keep aware that there is untested territory ahead of you, that there are places that no writer has ever been before and you might discover them, um, and then hope that you're a developed enough person to actually make use of those areas when you do. Um, Yes, to Reuters, I would say um, you are embarking upon a very difficult uh, but incredibly interesting and incredibly rewarding field of endeavour. And um, just make sure that you are up to it. Remember that this tradition is glorious and noble. Remember all of the men and women who've accomplished things before you. That is the company that you are hoping to keep. You are not hoping to be on the bestseller shelves next to um, uh, E.R. James or J.K. Rowling necessarily. You'll probably never get there. Uh, most of the people in bookshops, most of the authors that you're familiar with, they don't just write for a living, they have other jobs as well. I'm quite unusual uh, in that um, I make a decent living uh, out of just writing whatever I want. Um, but the writing is the most important thing. Ideas of success that are beyond the success of the writing itself 
are irrelevant. Spare yourself a lot of trouble and just focus upon the, the real heart of the matter. And good luck. <laughs>